Hey, I'm glad you came back. And in this concluding session, I just want to encourage you to continue to move forward with your assimilation process. You know, you're not going to be able to build all of this at one time. I hopefully have overloaded you, but at the same time, giving you a vision of what a very powerful assimilation system would look like in your church. So you may be thinking, well, where do I start? Well, if you can't start any, any if you can't start with all of it, start with this one place. Start with those handwritten notes. You know, I mentioned this many sessions back, but the handwritten note is really the keystone inside of the system. So you may have made it all the way to the end here, and you may think, I don't know what to do. I can't really implement all of this. Well, you can implement the handwritten note. And you know, if you're just a single pastor, you can gather the names of first-time guests, and then you can follow up with them with a handwritten note. So I would start there. And let me also remind you that assimilation is connected to the other systems inside of your church. From, from a broad perspective, and I would even say a profound perspective, what I teach is that there are eight systems inside of the church. Assimilation is one of those. But in addition to assimilation, you also have the evangelism system, you have the worship planning system, you have the ministry system, you have the small group system, you have the stewardship system, the leadership system, and the strategic system. So there, there are these eight systems. And beyond today, you want to continue to educate yourself on each of those systems. But here's what's cool about what you've done. Assimilation improves all of the other systems. So when you improve your assimilation system, in essence, it strengthens all of the other seven systems. So by doing assimilation, you actually will improve your worship planning. By doing assimilation, you'll increase your evangelism. I mean, just by getting ready for more first-time guests, it does something in the evangelism world, if you will, where God sends you more first-time guests. And on down the line, we could go. But understand that connection and understand that even if you just do some of what we're talking about today, whether it's only the handwritten note, for example, that that has an interconnected relationship to the other systems and it increases and improves those systems as well. You may say, well, how long will it take me to implement this assimilation system that we've been discussing? Well, maybe you could implement it in as little as four months. It is possible that within four months, if you have a very healthy church and perhaps a growing church, you might be able to implement it in four months. More realistically, it's going to take you between six and 12 months. It will realistically take you four months to get the connection card process in place, and then an additional four to eight months to implement the other stages. And especially if you have to get into really improving your membership class or you have to get into fixing your church database or whatever. But see this from the long view. See this from the perspective of the changes I make today are going to set me on the course of growth for the future. Now, if you really want some help beyond today, one of the best next steps that you can take is to go through my assimilation coaching. And in this assimilation coaching, I go through all kinds of sessions about how to implement the assimilation. I'm assuming that you've already listened to this seminar. And then in these coaching sessions, I talk about assimilation mistakes. So just in that very first session in my coaching, I want to help you avoid the most common mistakes that people make. I, I go deeply into the first-time guest follow-up process. What does that literally look like from a database standpoint, from a staff management standpoint? Who enters that? How do you have quality control? I go into measurement. We have a good time talking about measurement. How do you know how many first-time guests are coming back? How do you know what your connection card return rate is? How do you know how many regular attenders that you have? We get into it. We look at your website and how that impacts your assimilation or could be hurting your assimilation. We have very detailed discussions about the connection card, and I help you implement that script and do the hosting and even consider what are your options when it comes to receiving the offering. We talk about what unchurched guests are especially looking for. Do you know there's a handful of things, like seven or eight things, that unchurched people are really looking for, and they're totally different than what churched people are looking for. We talk about building your follow-up team, something by now you know that you're going to have to do. You can do a lot of this yourself, but you got to build that team. We get into some of the finer pieces of a assimilation process that we can't discuss in this 101 session. So we get into 201 strategies like a newcomer's reception or 301 strategies like the role of every pastor in assimilation. We talk about connection card follow-up and maximizing membership. 
In fact, in one of the coaching sessions, I give you seven ways to maximize your membership class. Any one could dramatically increase your attendance at your next membership class. We go through the membership covenant and tracking your assimilation rate, and then even deeper into prayer and assimilation. So if you're interested in that assimilation coaching, there's information in with this resource, or you can go to my website and click on the coaching tab and learn more about assimilation, or you can call our office and we'll be happy to help you. All of that should be available to you with the uh, uh, website or with the uh, online link or with the videos and DVDs that you have related to this resource. But I hope you will contact and consider going through this. And the coaching is just one per church. So maybe you've been going through this alone or maybe you've been doing it with a team. Well, your whole team can continue that discussion and go through these sessions. And each session is about an hour and there's between seven to nine sessions depending on when you join the coaching. But take a look at that. There's information on the resource disc or you can feel free to call or check out my website for that. So let's talk about what assimilation all comes down to. You know, if you forget everything that I've talked about in all of these previous sessions, there's two words I want you to remember. And all of assimilation comes down to these two words, relationships and responsibilities. Relationships and responsibilities. If a first-time guest comes to your church, and within the next three months, they get a relationship in the church, they are known by someone and they know someone, then they're more likely to stick. If a first-time guest comes to your church and they come back and they come back and over, say, a three-month period, they find a responsibility in your church, a place of service, a place where they take ownership, a place where they can fit, then they will be assimilated. You know, even if you never do a membership class, even if you don't do all the follow-up points that I've talked about here, even if you never go through uh, future resources on the other systems or get involved in assimilation coaching, if you build a process whether the one I've given you or, or, or one you build yourself. If you build a process where you help people intentionally build relationships and take a responsibility in the church, they will stick. So if you forget everything that I've said about assimilation, just remember it's all about relationships and responsibilities. And if you go back through these sessions again and you study them individually or next time you study them with your team, you'll see all throughout everything we've discussed in this seminar that it's all about helping first-time guests build relationships. Relationships with God, first and foremost, a relationship with God and Jesus Christ, a relationship with other church members, and then helping the second-time guests and regular attenders find a place of responsibility in the church where they can serve and then in doing so where they can grow and become that fully developing follower of Jesus. So don't forget those two key words for all that we've talked about. I want to leave you with a couple of verses. Remember 2 Peter 3.18, our key verse for this uh, entire seminar. Continue to grow, or you must grow, is how the New Living Translation makes that. You must grow in the grace and knowledge of our Savior, Jesus Christ. I believe by doing this work that we've talked about, you're helping people grow. You're helping them discover the depth and the beauty of the grace and knowledge of our Savior, Jesus Christ. And uh, then, as I've reminded you over and over, first-time guests are a gift from God. Second-time guests are a gift from God. Regular attenders are a gift from God. Every member that you have in your church, it's a, it's a gift from God. I hope you've gathered that and now are thinking that way about all the people in your church. People matter. Jesus died for people. God loves people. This is not so much about a system, although you need it. It's really about the people that go through the system. So I hope you walk away with that, and I hope you walk away with a deeper love for people, a deeper love for your church. But I will tell you, that sometimes running a system, sometimes managing a system, doing database entry, it can be tiring. So I want to leave you with this verse from Galatians 6, 9. It says, so don't get tired of doing what is good. Don't get discouraged and give up, for we will reap a harvest of blessing at the appropriate time. I hope during our sessions together, we've planted some seeds that will bring great harvest inside your church. And I wish that for you. I wish more first-time gifts 
to be given to your church. I wish for those to return for a second time and then find a relationship and stay as regular members and then eventually get a responsibility where they can stay as fully engaged members. I pray that you will reap a harvest of blessing. I pray that you don't get discouraged and give up, but I pray that you let God guide you and provide you every step of the way. It's been my privilege to do this seminar with you. Thank you so much. I hope to see you in future seminars that we have or hope to see you in the Assimilation Coaching. God bless you.